All right, before we actually let you go, David and I want to find more ways to embarrass ourselves by showing you things that are embarrassing. Uh -oh. And so, obviously, we're going to give you a little bit of fun facts. And my fun fact is about caramel apples. There you are. And how to make the perfect fall treat. Ooh. Now, uh, all you have to do here is stick an apple with a little, oh, well, look at that. Look at a wooden stick, dip it in the caramel. And here's the thing. It's a three a three turn caramel apple covering with the peanuts. Wow. Okay? You gotta do it third at a time. Bam! Shazammy. You're a professional. That is the best caramel apple ever. With demonstration video. This is I, what I do. I'm impressed. So my fun fact of the day, I grew up in Iron Mountain, Kingsford, Michigan. Radio station helicopter story. I gotta tell you about this. So I was I'm in on the radio. And I thought, hmm, I worked overnights at first. I had a little bit more time on my hands. So I took the sound effect of a helicopter, and then I would read the weather forecast with the helicopter in the background. Now, this is radio, so people are hearing this, and what it might sound like is, all right, it's partly sunny today. It's going to be in the low 80s overnight, right around 60, clear skies, and beautiful day downtown today. Anyway. Picture a real helicopter, not me pounding on my chest. Katie's losing it. Anyway, I really did do this, and our sales guy walks in at 7 in the morning and goes, Hey, my, I heard that on my way to work, and I'm thinking, when did the station have enough money to buy a helicopter? And then I thought, wait a minute, who's on the air? Oh, Fiorazzo. That can't be so. Anyway, some, some people actually fell for it and said, boy, uh, you guys have a helicopter for your radio station? I, I mean, maybe you should do sound effects that are for the movies now, because apparently he's, he's got it down. All right, well, Katie, wrap that, it up. Wrap well, it up. I think that uh, goes well enough for today, <laughs> at least.